All right, let me start off because I, I got corrected on this. Is it Cali or Cali? It's Cali. Cali best, yeah? Cali, like California. Okay, okay. And where did that name come from? Uh, my parents. Oh, it's your actual name? Yeah, it's my name. Okay, cool. And the best? Uh, it's my dad's name. Oh, so it's actually your name? Because I, I thought it was like an acting name or like a... No, well, obviously, I have... Uh, my government name is quite longer than yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. obviously, you, when you're an actor, you get to choose a stage name. Yeah. But that was, for me, that just seemed like the best fit. But it's actually my name as well. Do you nice, know what I'm trying nice. to say? All right, can we start with your socials? What, what are your socials? Where can we find you? Uh, this is the thing, you know. I mean, I've only, I have only really mess with Insta like mm. that. Um, my Instagram's Cali underscore best. Um, and Snapchat's the same. But other than that, like, I've got a TikTok, but I can't remember what it is. I've got a Twitter, I don't use it. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't really play with socials like that. Fair enough. Well, you can find you on um, IMDb as well. Yeah, yeah. Your work. I'm yeah. all over there. Cool. Um, you got quite a bit of following on Instagram now, I think. I mean... No? I ain't got no millions, but... It's still, yeah, it's still, still quite a bit. It's still, yeah, I'm, 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 do, I'm doing something. Still in the public eye, you I'm, know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying. You get me? <laughs> uh, and uh, I guess you prefer Instagram then, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, just Instagram's our generation, I feel. I feel like TikTok's a little bit for the younger generation, although it's becoming more popular now, but... What about Snapchat? See, Snap, I don't know, I feel like Snapchat's like a guilty pleasure. Like, everyone's got it, but they don't really want to have it, but they use it, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah. like it's like a guilty pleasure, Snapchat, but it's just there, isn't it? It's there. I'm going to use it, like, for promotion. Can you explain what you do for a living? I am a self-employed actor. I'm a father first, but I'm a self-employed actor. Nice. And how long have you been an uh, actor? Forever, man. Forever. Um, professionally, since 2012. Mm. Um, but before that, I was always, I mean, in school, I went, like, drama, like, my mum sent me to a drama class on Saturdays when I was growing up. So I've always kind of been, it's always kind of been in in my schedule, you get me? But professionally since 2012. Mm. And did you kind of, you know, growing up, did you have anything else in mind that you wanted to do or be? Mm. I used to kick ball. I used to play football yeah. as well. Um, but I'm tired, man. I used to, I just, I like, brother, you see like the, the, the running aspect of it. I'd like, it's too I don't, much. yeah, man. Like maybe once or twice a week, but I can't do that every fucking day. That's my, it's a lot, so, yeah. Yeah, no, it is. So I just, I sort of put that on the back foot. Left that to my brother and just cracked on with the acting. Cool. You've been in quite a lot now. Um, what was your kind of first major role? Um, mainstream role, I would say, was EastEnders. But prior to that, I um, was in the theatre. All right. Yeah. What did you do in theatre? So I was in the Royal Court Theatre. My first job out of drama school. So I didn't even get to graduate drama school. All right. Literally. So, all right, cool. Yeah. Backstory, yeah. So in drama school, you get to like do a showcase, yeah? And when you do your showcase, they invite like all these agents, producers, so on and so forth from the industry to come and watch you. And then they sort of sign you based off of your performance there, yeah? All right. Um, so after my showcase, um, I had 48 agents that wanted to sign me, right? And that's a drama oh. school record. No one in the history of life ever has had 48 drum, like, agents that wanted to sign them after the showcase. Um, so I was in a great position. Um, and then one of the agents that I was in conversation with at the time, because he was eager to uh, get me signed, mm. he put me up for a job without me even being his client. Um, and I ended up getting the role. So I was um, like, I was in the Royal Court Theatre in um, Sloan Square, um, rehearsing, doing this job. But meanwhile, my classmates are still in class doing their thing. So, and um, this was in our third year. So they sort of were doing like their graduation and stuff, but I was already in the West End working, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So my first, I can't, well, my first television job, I would say was EastEnders, but my first like actual professional job was in the Royal Court. Nice, was that um, Rose Bruford College? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I studied there for three years. Okay, nice, nice. And what kind of put you above other actors, would you say? Because you said you had 40, 48 reps or 48. Um, I don't know, man. Well, this is the thing. You see, in, in drama school, what drama school does is it... Everybody that goes to drama school was sort of the best in their college or wherever they were before. So oh, every yeah. single person that gets in was sort of on a, on a, on a very high level. Yeah. Um, but what drama school does is it strips all of that away from you. 
So, all right, everyone in this room has talent, great, but don't, you can't just come in here with your talent thinking that that is skill, because it's not. Once you understand the skill behind what you're doing, that is when you can call it talent, you feel what I'm trying to say? Mm. So drama school was a lot of stripping away, a lot of stripping away at what I thought I was doing. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, I get you. Yeah. yeah. So it's a lot of it's a lot of stripping away. It's a lot of being neutral. It's a lot of like like being plain and understanding that if you're gonna be like it's just like this background. Like if you're gonna be a blank canvas, yeah, mm. you have to be fucking blank. You can't. There's no. You, you know what I mean? You have to be absolutely plain and blank before you can convince anybody that you're gonna be someone else. If you come in with a certain energy. <clears throat> Or if you look a certain way, you have to be... In order to play kind of any role. In order to play any role. Yeah, yeah. In order to embody any character. Like, I could play I could play a number of people in this room, but I would have to embody them. Do you get what I'm trying to say? And you wouldn't believe me if I didn't do it. You get what I'm trying to say? We're going to have to do it afterwards. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can show you slim. Easy. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> can, can you do it for us? <laughs> 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 that's, that's slim in a nutshell. <laughs> Quickly. A uh, quick like nose rub, isn't it? You know what I mean? Just a, yeah. Maybe a little, a little glimmer of the gold tooth. Ping. You might ping it. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. It was good, good content. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what movies have you been in? Or series or? Um, well, um, I did EastEnders. Yep. And then I did Doctors on the BBC. I did Good Night Sweetheart. I did, um, Jesus Christ, I, I, like, there's so many, I just can't remember all of them. I know right we now. got Blue Story. The, um, Blue Story. Uh, Top Boy. Obviously Top Boy. Big Axe. Um, small Axe. Is it Small Axe? He said Big Axe. <laughs> <laughs> it's Small Axe though. Small Axe was okay. um, directed by Steve McQueen. Oh, nice, nice. Mm. And then you just, uh, come, you just had one come out recently, isn't it? Um, well, I've got a film, I've got three films coming out next year, actually. Nice. One of which is called The Book of Clarence, um, produced by Jay-Z, directed by James Samuel. Wow. Um, a good friend of mine. Uh, and that's a really good film as well. Stars started the film, like, Tiana Taylor's in it, Benedict Cumberbatch, Michael Ward. Like, it, the list goes on. It, literally, I can't tell you a name without it being someone, you get what I'm trying to say, so. Did you get to meet a few of them? Yeah, 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 of course. I flew to, we flew to Italy to, to film that earlier this year. That was in, like, February. Nice. It's quite exciting, yeah. Yeah. So I did that. So, yeah, I've got three films coming out next year. One's A Book of Clarence. The other one is untitled at the moment. We haven't even got a title for it. Oh, yeah. um, but that's by Mike Lee as well. Um, and the third is called Bermondsey Tales. It's an English gangster film. <coughs> nice, nice. And uh, something just dropped with C. Montana. Uh, yes. So that was a film that I directed or co-directed with my business partner. Nice. Is, yeah. it, is it easy to direct or is it something you, you always kind of wanted to pursue? You know what? I feel like when you're an actor, because yeah. you're so used to being directed, you sort of understand how to direct. Do you get what I'm yeah, trying to say? Yeah. And I've always been critical anyway. Like, if, we're, if I'm on set with um, anyone, like, not like I direct them, I just, what I do is I make, if there's something that I don't feel is that, like, when you're an actor, it's very, very easy to skate over things. Mm. So you could, like, there might be a word, let's just say I've got to do an American accent, but there's a word that I'm not saying correctly, but I could just skate over it and just carry on. I can't do that. You see me, uh, who, who I am, I can't do that. So if there's a problem, I have to sort out that problem. So let's just say me and you are doing a scene. If there's a, if there's a, if there is a problem in that scene, I've got to sort it out. We've got to sort it out. So that's where I feel like directing comes into it. It's not yeah. that I'm telling the other actor what to do, but it's, it's sort of suggestions. Whereas when you're directing, when I'm directing my own projects and stuff like that, remember, I know the vision. I know the, I know the film that I'm trying to make. I know what, I know the message I'm trying to put across. So direction is a lot easier, especially being an actor as well. I know what I would like to hear from a director. Do you mm. understand? Because there's so many, I've had numerous directors on EastEnders, we get a director for different, every different episode, we've got a different director. Serious? Yeah. How come? That's just the nature of it. Every, like, even like, when you watch it, like, you'll see on Monday or whatever, on Monday, you'll see directed by, and then Tuesday directed by, it's a different director, every episode. Is that on purpose or? Um, I feel like it's just to give the actors a bit more, um, like, freedom because obviously different directors require different like, 
techniques from yeah. actors. You get what I'm trying to say? A director might be like, all right, cool, we're going to need you to, you got to lose your shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to say. So, you know what I mean? But other directors might not, they'll just be like, yeah, all right, cool, that, you know what you got to do, they might just let you do it. But an another director might make, like, you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah, it's, yeah. I feel like it just, it's, it's, it's refreshing for the actors to have different directors. Oh, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Have you ever had a time where you've, you've not just worked well with director at all, where he's got on your nerves or anything like that? I mean, <clears throat> this is the thing. Remember, you see us as actors, we're the storytellers, so we are telling the story. Mm. Um, and obviously the director has their own vision as well, and sometimes it doesn't align with the, with the character. So if I'm playing a certain character, but yeah. what you're telling me doesn't align with what I can see for the character, now we've got a conflict of interest, you get what I'm trying to say? Mm. But um, I feel like as an actor, you have to have you have to remember that you've got creative license. So I'm, this person doesn't exist without me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? I'm yeah. going to create, if, if this person has a, has a Twitch, I'm going to, now we're twitching. You get what I'm trying to say? You feel what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah, so, yeah, I get you. I, you have to have a creative license as an actor to, to do and be and do it truthfully as well. That's the main thing because you can't just be doing stuff for the sake of it as an actor because it will definitely be seen. But if you're truthful in what you're doing, then yeah. you'll be good. Okay, so you've got to make the character your own and... and yeah, man. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But obviously, you still have to honour your director at the same time. Mm. But if it don't work, it's like I, like I said, it's suggestions. You have to offer suggestions. You can't be like, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Or he can't be like, do it like that. You, we, have to, we have to communicate mm. to, to get the story across. You get me? Yeah, no, I get you. Um, what's been your kind of proudest moment acting? <sighs> acting? Mm. I mean, I've won a few awards. That was good. That was, those were proud moments. But I feel like, when I actually feel proud of myself is when I book a job. So when I get the call from my agent like, yeah, um, you, you get what I'm trying to say, when I book a job, yeah. those are proud moments for me. What's, what's the process normally? You go for an audition? Like a, yeah, so your agent will send you an audition. Um, you either have to self-tape or go into the room and do the audition in front of um, the casting directors and so on. Um, and then, this is the thing, with, with jobs, with actors, yeah? So we'll get an audition and then remember, when you get it, you have to literally fall in love with that script. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. You've got to fall in love with it, make it your own, do it like you, like you fucking mean it. Yeah. And then you've got to let that go because you, nine out of 10 times, you might not get that job. You get what I'm trying to say? Nine out of fucking 10 times, you might not get that job. So it's sort of a, it's a difficult, you just got to learn to have thick skin, man. You just got to learn to have a thick skin. Like, just know that you're going to get told no a, few, a, a lot of times, but when you get told you're yes, it will, it'll be worth it. No, fair enough. And what's, what's been your most favourite role playing that you've played? I think my favourite role that I've played so far <laughs> would be either Killy in Blue Story or Dexter in EastEnders. And I'll say Dexter in EastEnders only because when you get to play one character for so long, yeah. that character gets to go on a different type of journey. So who he starts as isn't who he ended as. Do you get what yeah, I'm trying to say? Yeah. Whereas Killy was so one directional. He was one, he was, he was, you know what I'm trying to say? Like yeah, he was, was one, yeah. he was one dimensional. But again, that was fun to play because if you know that that's all you've got to do, I've just got to just be that. You get what I'm trying to say? <laughs> all I've got to do is just, you feel me? But yeah. with a character that you get to play for long, like, remember, that character, like, remember, you, I started with a mum and dad. Imagine if my character's mum died. Now, that totally different character. So you, now mean, I've got, yeah. you get what I'm trying to say? So when you get to play the same character for a long period of time, you get to grow with it. You get to, so for an actor, that's, that's good. But again, my, I'd say either, yeah, Dexter or Killy are my favourites. Fair enough. And what's your acting playing age? They, they give you like playing a range. Age. This is the thing. <laughs> I, I, I I look definitely way younger than I am. Um, so I feel like I've got like ten years. I feel like I've got. I feel like I've got ten years ahead of everyone in the industry because I can play younger characters. I see. Yeah, you feel what I'm trying yeah. to say? It, so. But then you got more experience too. Experience, and then it's also castability as well because if you're if you can play younger characters being old, then you'll be in the game for longer. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. Whereas if you look like a granddad, then you're only going to get... 
Grand you know what I'm trying to say? What's, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen on set? <sighs> is, it, is it like, are there fights on set? Like, what, what, what are we missing behind the stage? Not much, like, man. Do you know what it is? It's like, nine out of ten times, it's clockwork, bro. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say? Everyone's got a job and everyone does it. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, like, we got to be ready, actors got to be ready. When they say lights, camera, action, we got to be ready. But before that, they got to sort out the lights, they got to make sure everything, like, everyone's got a job to do, so it's, it's, it's just clockwork, bro. That's what a set is like. A set is like, like, a, like clockwork, mate. I see, yeah. Is it, is it an easy job? Is it quite difficult being an actor? Mm, that's, a, that's a hard question because it is difficult, but it is easy at the same time. Like, I would say, for me, the hardest part about, like, acting, let's just say, if I, like, if I book a job, the hardest part is waiting around. Because you have to wait for everyone to do everything else before the actors actually get on the set and do it in front of the camera. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, yeah. man, we're in our trailers for hours, just chilling, just looking at the script. All right, yeah, that's great. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? We're just chilling. Is it easy to remember these words? Is it, is well, it quite hard? It depends on who you are. If you're yeah. someone who can who's got a photographic memory, who can learn lines, then it's not, but... I mean, I've been on set with a lot of people who can't learn lines as, yeah. as well as I can, um, but they're still fantastic actors, though. Do you get what I'm trying to say? But they just have a line-learning difficulty. But once they get it, it's... Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. I guess so, you could do more cuts, couldn't you? you could yeah, more, more but... Takes, sorry, yeah. yeah. But, again, it's not a... I don't feel like that's, like... a big thing. I mean, it's, it's important. If you can learn lines quick, great. But if you can't, it's not like the end of the world. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, how do you get the big roles? Is it kind of who you know or, or, or who you are? Or? Mm. Your profile, your agent, and you. It's you, a mixture of things, isn't Yeah, it? you have to be the talent and you have to have the right team around you and you have to build the correct profile to, put, to get put in the right spaces you get me as, a, as an actor how do you look at the camera because i know this is obviously different right now so how what do you, what do you know, mean how do you look at it like, are you meant to not look at the camera or is it there depends. scenes where you do look at it no like i say it depends it depends on it depends on what we're doing like if i was doing a documentary mm. then i would look at the camera and i'd be talking to the camera like the camera is the audience or whoever's going to be watching so that they can feel like i'm talking to them but I'm talking to you, <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, trying yeah, to say? Yeah. So, it, like I said, it depends on what we're doing. It depends. You grew up in Newcross, right? Newcross Gate or? Correct. Uh, what was life like growing up there? It was all right. It was sweet. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> what do, what do you... <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. What do, what do you think of South like? I, I don't know how old you are. I don't know if you want to share that or not. It's up to you. I'm 33. Okay, cool, cool. I'm 33 as well. So what, what was life like growing up back then? Like your youth? I mean, it weren't easy. Mm. I didn't like. I'm not gonna say I came from a like uh, easy like background. It was it was South London. Do you know what I mean? It was South London in the nineties. Yeah, a lot of gangs, right? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I mean, but when you live around it, it's it does. I mean, it becomes it's just sort of a part of. You don't even look at it like that. It's just it's it's life. Mm. You know what I mean? That's true. Um, have you ever googled your net worth? <laughs> no. No? I don't know. Never? Because I know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to Google that. Oh, fair enough. All right, so I Googled your name, right? Okay. And you know in Google, you, you start typing, so I thought, typed in Cali Best, uh -huh. and then one of them said net worth, so I said, all right, let me hit end up, right? What's it saying? <laughs> Various stuff, you know. One, one site said between one to five million dollars, and one site said, called Idle Net Worth, actually said 16 million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously, I don't know how rich you are. I mean, I'm not going to comment, but I hear it. Huh? <laughs> I hear it. <clears throat> Fair enough. Well, what made you go on these senders? Um, do you know what? I actually wasn't even going to do it, you know? I wasn't even going to do it. How come? Just because it was... Remember, I was fresh out of drama school. When I got offered the job, I was in the Royal Court doing that job, but I got mm. the EastEnders offer. And I'm thinking, bruv, like, that's, that's main... That's, that's big, big, big TV. You get me? Like, I'm outside after that. You know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah. Like, so I really weren't going to do it. And then, and then they told me what the check was. And I was like, all right, where do I sign? I was like, where, where, 
which part, black or, or blue ink? Which one? What do you want? You understand? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and that was that. Would you do reality TV? Uh, nah, nah. Never? Why? I've been offered so many reality TV shows. So many. Such as what? Big yeah. Brother, I'm a celebrity. Yeah? Yeah, man. Do you, feel, do you feel like Big Brother's kind of like a career killer? Or do you think it's good? Do you know what it is? I just feel like Big Brother is something that you do at the end of your career. Like, you see, like, yeah. when you know yeah. that it's a wrap. <clears throat> you just got on big, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. That's when it's Big Brother time. But you feel what I'm trying to say, though? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Big Brother's something you do when you know that, you, that all right, cool. Or unless you need, uh, yeah, unless you need it. You yeah, get what I'm trying money. to say? Yeah. yeah, unless you need that cash injection for whatever reason. You know what I'm you might need surgery or, or a funeral. I don't know. You might just need the fucking money. So, cool, but personally, I'd, I wouldn't do it. I don't think I would do big... I, don't, I wouldn't do no reality TV just because it's a, it's a different industry. I feel like... I respect reality TV stars because what they do... I'm not going to water down what they do. It's, it's not easy either to be on camera 24 hours a day and so on and so forth. Like, I would, I'd, I'd hate it. You get what I'm trying to say? I would hate mm. that. That's very intrusive. Um, but, because I'm an actor, what am I doing on reality TV? Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, not my, that's not my that's not my area. I don't... That's for reality TV stars. Do you feel me? Yeah, I okay. get <clears throat> do you. Do you feel like um, people try and cast you one role? Or like a certain role? Nah, <clears throat> I don't. I don't. I just feel like the roles I've taken for me have all been systematic. They've all been chess moves. Mm. However they may be perceived by the public, for me, they've all been chess moves. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, I would never... I've turned down so many roles as well. So many roles. Yeah, I was going to ask you, yeah. Yeah, man. I've turned down, like, countless. What, what kind of reasons behind turning it down? Just if the character's not right for me, or if I don't like the script, or if I don't like the project, or if I... Various reasons, you get what I'm trying to say? If I'm not available, mm. you get what I'm trying to say? <clears throat> various reasons why you could turn down the job. But the jobs that I have taken, I've, like, if I take it, it's, because, it's for a good reason. Like, Blue Story, I took because... I knew that Blue Story was going to be something for the culture. Mm. Top Boy, again, something for the culture. EastEnders, again, something for the culture. These are things that will live longer than me. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? Legacy. Yeah. Do you hear what I'm trying to say? These are things that will live longer than me. So when, I'm, when I do certain, like, and even Small Wax, Steve McQueen, like, these are things that are going to live, like, longer than, long, longer than me. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah. when... F- However they're perceived, remember, these are, I can't choose what people write or what, or what jobs are going to come. But if there is a blue story and there's a character that needs to be played and that's the nature of the character, but I can do it, I'm going to go and do it. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm going to go and do that. And then cool, top wear, same thing. If there's, if, what, another one? You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I'm going to go and do it. But that's not all I can do, though. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, people yeah. have seen, it's not, you feel me? No, fair enough, yeah, yeah. Um, we've got a question from Yasmin Pinks, mm-hmm. also known now as Big Pinks. Um, Big Daddy Pinks. <laughs> are you single? <laughs> Do you have kids? And what's your type? <laughs> Free question. The question every, every female wants to know from me. <laughs> Am I single? <laughs> yes. Do I have kids? I have one. Mm-hmm. And what's my type? I don't have a type, I have an energy. Like, mm. it's not, you, you could be black, white, Chinese, Asian, Canadian, like, it don't, matter, it don't matter where you're from or how you look, it's the energy. If we, you feel me, like, if we get, obviously, it's good, I need, I need, I need a good looking woman. You have to look good first. That's the, mm. let's be honest. But after that, it's an energy thing for me. It's not really a type. So what, like, personality, just, just the way they are? Like, energy, man, just energy. You've got to have the right energy. you just got to have the right energy. I can't explain what I mean. You just got to have the right energy. Fair enough. And then one more question from her. What do you think about women that have had their body done? I mean, it's your body, man. Do your thing. It's just like getting piercings or tattoos. Like, it's, it's your body, do your thing. Mm. You feel me? Fair enough. Um, is disrespecting a man's height body shaming? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean... Is disrespecting a man's height body shame? Body shame. Well, yeah, because his height is a part of his body. Mm. And you're disrespecting it, so that's shame. So, absolutely. You think, do you think uh, women are wrong now for saying, no, oh, I need a man that's this height and I won't go above? No, because it's preference. Everyone's allowed to have a preference. Like, mm. it's my preference. I prefer to have some... Like, I don't want to walk down the street and have to look down at... Whoever, um, you get what I'm trying to say? I'd, I'd, I prefer to look up. That's a preference. Oh, you like taller women? No, I'm, that's, I'm, oh, I'm right, just saying. Right, 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 I'm right, just right. saying, like, it's pref- like, that is it's preference. You yeah, can't yeah, say yeah. that that's wrong. If that's what a girl likes, that's what she likes. She prefers a tall man. Some girl likes short man. Fair enough. Is, is it the same as, as, you know, disrespecting a woman's weight? What? Calling a man short? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're making a judgment based on a physical appearance. Like, you're short. You're fat. It's the same. It's the same thing. There's no. It's the same thing. Yeah, true, true. Um, so you went. You won a couple of awards. One of them was um, best newcomer, wasn't it, for EastEnders? Yeah, I won two best newcomer awards. Oh, it was two nice. Yeah. yeah, I won one. I won an NTA for the best newcomer. I can't remember what year it was. You know, maybe 2012. Um, and then in the same year, I won best newcomer in the Inside Soul Awards, or I think it was the year after. I can't remember, but I know I did win two awards. What was the kind of feeling at that time? At the time, it was great, because remember, I was fresh out of drama school. I was yeah. new, so I was in the O2 arena with 50,000 people. I had to stand on the stage, and I got my name in lights. I'm scratching my head, I'm going, rah, <laughs> I'm going, what, me? <laughs> you understand? I half yeah. didn't even want that to be my name. When they're calling out my name, I'm going, huh? <laughs> Who? You get me? I didn't want to get up, but. It was what it was, man. That was a good feeling, still. I can imagine, yeah, yeah. Um, have you ever been asked to do a role that you're not uncom- that you're uncomfortable with? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Such as what? Just numerous. Like I said, countless roles that <coughs> like that will come through. That just I just don't feel like I would play or I can play. So you just got to turn it down. Because I think nowadays a lot of um, even a lot of young black actors are getting um, offered like homosexual roles, right? Have, have you heard I anything about that? I wouldn't that? just say young black actors, I'd say actors in general. The industry is quite, the whole LBG, I don't know I even know the, I don't know the, the letters, LGBT but whatever plus, it is, there's, yeah. there's a few, about <laughs> yeah, five yeah. of them, but um, <laughs> whatever that is, that's, um, it's becoming more of a, they're becoming more inclusive in, in society. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So in schools, in, in every walk of life, yeah. That community is becoming more inclusive, yeah? So, I wouldn't just say it's young black actors. I would just say, because name a TV show that you've watched right now that doesn't have a gay couple or a lesbian couple or a trans... Yeah, no, something, you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Like, there's no TV show at all that doesn't include that. So, there's going to be roles that are going to be available for actors, but it's whether or not the actor wants to, to play that role or not. Yeah, yeah. You know so is it is it like um, almost like a necessity that they push that in there? No, nah, I would just say it's a it's a I would say it's like it's a um, it's like a status quo. They have to I feel, like you have to include everything and everyone. You get what I'm trying to say? You can't mm. you can't these people exist. These people are alive. They're breathing. Like they have feelings, just like me and you. Mm. You understand? So how wrong is it of us to create a world? where they don't exist. Disrespectful, you hear what I'm trying to say? Because mm. if there was, a, if they created a world where we didn't exist, like a young black man, I'd feel disrespected, right? So how can we not include everyone? We have to include everyone. So I don't feel like it's a thing where they're pushing it. I just feel like, let's just be real to what life is. This is going on. This, mm. is, in the, this is in the world. So let's not, let's not, let's just, you get me? Yeah, yeah, I get you. <laughs> um, was it quite hard being a TV star and kind of being in the ends Still, at, uh, from a young age. What do you mean? Like, growing up in, in South London, right? And mm-hmm. then it's like you would have made it from, from what, 2012? Would you, would you feel like, <clears throat> is it, was it hard kind of being, I guess you probably would have been slightly above your friends, not, not, not in that aspect of things, but it's like you had young success. Do you know what I mean? And you're still kind of in South London or... Well, I'm not. I don't even live in South London. No, sorry, back then, back then. Yeah. I don't live, not even then. Like, oh, when you I, knew. Yeah, yeah, well, as soon as I, 
East End, well, wherever the set of East Enders is, that's yeah. far away. It's not in South. Like, yeah. I can't yeah. be coming to and from every day. That's mad. So I had to, I had to go. But um, I get, I get what you're saying. I get the question. Mm. And nah, I don't think so, man. I don't think so, because again, you see what it is, yeah. It's like you see for me, it's just work. You understand, like, if I was, if I did construction or I did, or I was a uh, architect, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, whatever mm. it is, I got to get up in the morning, I got to go to wherever I'm going, I got to put in my shift, I got to come back, I got to make my money and then done, and then I got to do it all over again. The nature of my job is I got to go to wherever I got to go to, do my little bit, you get what I'm trying to say, and then keep it moving. But it's what the job means to everyone else. Yeah. For me, that's just work. But you see, for everyone else, that's raw. You're doing your t- you get what I'm trying to say? You're on, yeah, you get yeah, what I'm trying yeah. to say? But for me, I'm just, I'm collecting my check. I've got a, you get what I'm trying to say? That's all I'm doing. You feel what I'm trying to say? But again, it's what it means to everyone else. So that's why I don't have no problem still coming to South London and, and, and carrying on with my normal life. Because again, all I did was go to work and come yeah. home. You it's get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a normal thing. <clears throat> no, fair enough. Um, where, where's the set for you senders? It's in Boreham Wood. Wait, sorry? Boreham Wood? Boreham Wood in Hartford. Oh, Boreham Wood. Okay, yeah. all right, right, yeah. <clears throat> What's the set like? Is it, is it something that just stays like that? Bruv, you see, I right, watch this. The only day that I was ever, ever, like, astounded, the only day that I was ever, like, yeah, was the first day. Because when you go there, you're like, rah, is this the lies that I've been told? Like, you see everything and you're like, rah, is this how you look <laughs> lying to, man? Like, for real. And I've been watching, thinking that like, this is, you got what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, and then obviously when you see everyone as well, like I'm seeing Dot, I'm seeing Phil, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Ian, I'm seeing <laughs> Max, I'm seeing Tanya, I'm seeing, I'm seeing everyone. I'm going, rah. But then obviously, so the first day was a little bit, but then yeah, my yeah. second day, I'm like, what's going on, bro? You good? Yeah? Ready? Like, it was just work. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, we're here to work. It's not like... You feel me? <clears throat> yeah, you know, I get you. Um, it probably take me a while to get over that because you, you grow up seeing them, don't you? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but for me, the first day was like, raw, like, I remember the last week I see, like, you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but then, uh, the, literally, the day after, it was, it was done for me. It sunk in, yeah. No, nah, because again, they're just like me. They're normal fucking people who have normal lives outside of this little thing that we do. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. And then once you understand that, you're just like, bruv, I ain't, we, what, like, you know what I mean? It's just normal, like, I can't explain it. Yeah. It's unspoken, like, it's just unspoken. I can't explain it. Oh, fair enough. Does, does a set kind of, is it just a one place that just stays at the set? Yeah. Is there yeah. an actual, like, block and corner and... Like... No, so it's a, it's a, it's a plot of land, yeah? Mm. And it's a, it's a plot of land, so they've got all the houses, they've got the Queen Vic, and it's all built, it's all like what it is. All right. But on the in, so they have exterior and interior. So the interior is all in a studio like this, yeah? Oh, okay. So if you notice when you watch, this is the, I don't even want to give away the secrets. I don't want to, I don't want to, <laughs> I can't snitch on the thing. You get me? I can't do that. <laughs> but like there's exterior and interior, isn't it? Yeah. That's all I can, that's, that's all I can. You're always saying exclusive. Yeah. I can't give away the tricks. No, fair enough. What, what are some of the negatives about acting? Um, I mean, the fame aspect, but the fame aspect of it can be um, challenging, depending mm. on who you are and how you take it. You understand? Some people can't, so they stop completely, and some people love it, so they overdo it. You get what I'm trying to say? Like they'll phone the paps, they'll phone the press, come oh. and see me. I'm gonna be here. You get what I'm trying to say? Like let's they, they want to do the famous thing. You get what I'm trying yeah. to say? Um, so, like I said, depending on who you are. Um, will depend on how it affects you. But again, like, I didn't go to drama school for three years to, to be famous, bro. Mm. If what I'm trying to say. Like, I didn't study to be famous. No one does that. That comes with the job. I studied to be an actor. You understand? Acting, fame is a result of acting. It's just like football. You, if I'm playing football, I play it because I love the game. Mm. As a result of that, I'm going to be famous. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? It's a re- like. <clears throat> you feel me? Yeah, no, I get you, I get you. <clears throat> so there's nothing really negative about it. It's not, it's not too hard. Well, obviously you like it, innit? so you don't find it too hard. Too well, difficult. no, I love, the, I, love the, I love doing the job. I love mm. doing the job. But obviously, like I said, there's always, there's, there's aspects of it that are not great. But again, this is the life we chose, man. Mm. Is it always consistent work as an actor? No. 
No. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. So, there, are, so, there are long periods of time. All right, so cool, watch this. In the beginning of my, in the beginning of my career, when I, when I left drama school, I was in the Royal Court and then I jumped straight into EastEnders for two and a half years. And then, so that's sort of like a whole three year period of consistent work. Mm. Actors don't get that. That's not, that's not, that is not normal. That's not normal, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. And then after EastEnders, I didn't work for quite a long time. Luckily, I had worked for a long time, so it, I was all right, you get what I'm trying to say? But after that, because I, the job that I did was EastEnders, it was difficult for other people to cast me because you're still Dexter. In everyone's mind, you yeah. are Dexter Hartman from EastEnders, you get what I'm trying to say? So it took a while for that to die down and then for me to transition. Um, <clears throat> But yeah. Is it, yeah. Is it hard times then? Like when you're out of a role, do you think, you know, like, are you, are you down in the dumps or do you, do you still feel confident? Still nah, like... man. Do you know what it is? You just got to keep busy. You got to keep, you got to keep active. You got to, and do you know what it is? Actors, nine out of 10 times, are, create, are creative people. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So if you're an actor, nine out of 10 times, you don't just act, you do many other things as well. You get what I'm trying to say? So mm. like I, I create my own, we create our, like I've got, I do a lot of other things. I direct, produce, teach. Like you do other stuff. You get what I'm trying to say. So when you're not acting, you got you got to find something else to do. You got to find something else creative to do because that's what we are creatives. You get me? Mm-hmm. Um, I see one your your Twitter account got suspended. Yeah. Twitter account. <laughs> yeah. Got suspended. Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Real Did Kelly it? best. No, that's not mine. Mine's <coughs> official. No, that's, that's that one. Oh, that's something else? Yeah, that's a catfish, bro. Don't worry, <laughs> Don't worry about that one. Man, talk about my Twitter. I'm going to sign into my thing right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's it. I thought it might have been an old account. Nah, 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 nah. Literally, I've only ever had one. And I don't even use Twitter. Never, ever used Twitter. Never been a Twitter about that. <laughs> no, fair enough. Um, there's quite a lot of kind of rumours why you left these senders. Uh, and what are they? Um, do you want me to say? Yeah. Well, there's an article I read about... Ah, uh, newspaper article. Mm-hmm. Tabloids. Hmm? I said tabloids. Yeah, Daily Star. The Star. That's not a reliable source. Daily Star, Daily That's Star. That's not a reliable source. And the source. Star's not reliable either. No. The, te- the, only, the only reliable newspaper sources is like the Telegram. You know, like proper newspapers. You see the Mirror, the Star, the Sun, all of them. That's, they're, they're what we call um, red... I can't remember, there's a name for them, but they're yeah. not, they're just... So they kind of make up a bit of anything, yeah. Bruv, they, they, need to sell, they need to sell their little pieces of paper, mm. you get me? So... No, fair enough. <coughs> but what's, what's the rumours? I'm interested, I'd love to know what I might have done. Tell me. <coughs> well, on here it says, you know, talks about you want becoming the best, um, best newcomer awards, etc, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, known as, you know, mechanic Dexter Hartman. Do you know how to fix cars, by the way? No? I'm an actor, man. I make it look good. <laughs> um, it says, while the show's top brass want to keep the exact details of his behaviour under wraps, the Daily Star can confirm that he breached the soap's code of conduct. He was also found to have broken the strict terms of contract, which is to believe to be worth 50k a year. And it says he got suspended. So all of that is wrong. <coughs> Number one, weren't 50k a year. Way more than that. Um, <laughs> number two, no, that's it. Dude, all of that. This is what I'm trying to say about them. Like, yeah, like yeah, who, yeah. who who gave you information? It's telling you that it's telling you that they are not going to tell you anything. But mm. it's saying, but what we think is oh, this. I see what you mean, yeah. You see what I'm trying yeah. to say? Come on, bro. But again, all so everything you just read, mm. incredibly, incredibly wrong. Mm. Well, at least I asked the source. You know, it's good to. No, of course, you. of course. Um, but answer to that question, why? Um, so. This is how the contracts work at EastEnders. So what they do is they offer you a contract. Mm. My initial contract was six months. So they offered me six months and then three months into my six, they was like, all right, we, wanna, we, wanna, we, want, we want to renew your six month contract for another six months so, so you can be here for a year. And then I was like, cool. But what they do is they offer you more money. So each contract, they offer you more money. So it's enticing for you to stay. I see, you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. <clears throat> so first contract, six months. So three months into my six month contract, they offered me 12. And then I won two awards by then. So in 12 months, in the first year, I won two awards. So now they're like, all right, great. We're going to offer you another year yeah. with a lot more money. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, all right, great. You know what I'm trying to say? Remember, I'm fresh out of drama school, bro. And I'm earning more than all of my friends' mums and dads. You understand what I'm yeah, trying to say? Yeah, so I'm, 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 I'm good. Um, and then 
So six months, then another six months, and then a year, and then another six months. And then when it was the end of my last six month contract, they were like, right, cool. And at this time, remember, all other characters, when you're on these standards, it's mad. It's, it's a machine, bro. Mm. Like, it's nuts, because you can get killed. You know what I'm trying to say? Because <laughs> if you get killed, then you're out of it. Um, How does that work? Bruv, if you get killed, then you're dead. Yeah, but who decides? Like, the writer? Yeah, the writers. The writers. The writers. If you, that, that, all right, cool, we're going to kill you off. <laughs> right, we need a storyline, or your thing's not really, yeah, you're dead. Or you go to jail. The only way you can be out of these standards is if you go to jail for, like, murder or rape or something crazy that yeah. you would go to jail for in real life, or you die. You know what I'm trying to say? <clears throat> That's the only way you can leave these standards. If you don't die or you don't um, go to jail, then you have an off-screen storyline. So my character right now, Dexter, so I've been, when Lola, so Lola just left, um, she, that, she got cancer, I, yeah, what happened to her? She got cancer and dead on EastEnders or something like that. Yeah. But her whole storyline, they were mentioning my character, you get what I'm trying to say? All right, right. They were like, oh yeah, no, I remember her and Jay and blah, blah, blah. So like I said, I've got off-screen storyline. So at any given time, when I'm about 47 and Dexter feels like to come back to EastEnders, I'm at the phone them up on a, you get me? What's happening, man? You know what I'm <laughs> you feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But, because I didn't die, I'll go to jail. Oh, I see, I see. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah, but if I die, up. if they kill you, like Lola, mm. she's dead. You see, when you're dead, you're dead. You can't come back. You're yeah, dead, yeah, you're dead. Unless you're Dirty Dead, because Dirty Dead came back from the dead. But that's the only <laughs> one that's ever came back from the dead. Yeah. You understand? Um, but, yeah. So, so on, on the script, how did, how did your actor leave? Um, Dexter went to go and stay with his mum in Newcastle. So mm. like I said, so when, so after, so remember I'd done two, I'd done two years and six months, yeah? But in that time, I had a mum and a dad, but my dad left, my mum left. But remember, I'm still on the block. I'm with Phil, I'm in the Brandon family. I'm half, yeah. I'm half with them lot a little bit, you get what I'm trying to say? But then they're thinking, rah, like, you ain't got no mum, no dad, you're just on the square. You're just doing your thing, but like, what's really happening? You get what I'm trying to say? So when they're saying, rah, do you want to renew? I'm like, like, I won two awards. It's not really like, what, like, remember, like Danny Dyer and that's lot, like, so that storyline's <laughs> popping right now. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm just here thinking, right, shall I just fade into the background or shall I keep it moving? Brother, I have to keep it moving, man. <laughs> Fair enough. What I'm trying to say? Because if you stay, then it's a lot harder. Like, think about it right now. You see mm. Phil Mitchell, yeah? Yeah. Do you ever think he could come out of EastEnders and play any other character? That's a good point. That's a good point. Do you think, like, or Ian Mitchell? Do you think Ian Mitchell can come out and, and go and do a Marvel? Do mm. you think it's going to happen? It's not no, going to happen, I see your bro. point. It's a good point. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. like I say, you got a, you got a, you, EastEnders gave me a great profile. Great profile. You get the profile, just like Top Boy. I got killed. Mm. But I'm happy. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> I'm happy to die. I don't want to be in that. I, like, like, it's like, just like Game yeah. of Thrones. In Game of Thrones, only the great characters die. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Ooh, that's true. Yeah. Only the yeah. great characters die. In Game of Thrones, <laughs> if you're a rude boy, you die. Mm. You can't be rude and think you're going to live. You understand? <laughs> it's not going to go like that. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> um, do you know what happened to, to Ricky Norwood? He played Fat Boy. Yeah. Very good friend of mine. Oh, right, right, right. Because he got suspended, right? Or was um, it so, I don't, know, I don't know the ins and outs of, mm. of, of his story, but... What I can say about Rick is that he is a lovely human being. Very, very, he's one of the kindest people I met. He was one of the people that like brought me into the fold of EastEnders, you get what I'm trying to say? He made me feel like a family member, you understand? But again, like I said, when you do a job like that, you're in the public eye. So what, what the press's job is to do is to find a way to turn your positivity into negative. Mm. You understand? However true or untrue it may be. It's just like Noel Clark. Remember, he, got, he was in the paper the other day for doing all this, that, and all, but it wasn't true. Yeah. But they still printed it. People, dumb people will still believe that if they see him. They'll be like, oh my God, oh yeah, I remember what you've done. It's not even true. But because mm. you read it <laughs> in the paper, yeah. you get what I'm trying to say? Like, it's very divisive. You see the press and the media, very, very divisive, bro. You think they're quite unfair on actors? Not just actors, bro. On everyone. Anyone can get it. Anyone can get it, bro. Kind of push the narrative, isn't it? Bro, anyone can get it. Mm. Anyone. Mason Greenwood. Bro, anyone can get it in the press. Anyone. Mm. No one, no one is, no one's safe. You think there should be more protection for people? But how, though? How? 
How can we protect? How can we protect? Mm. How? Is it not slander? Yeah, but again, like, what, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? All right, I'll sue the paper. You might win a little money, and then they'll come and do it again. Mm. They're, that's their job. They've got to sell the papers. They don't care about the repercussions. I'm going to talk that shit, but then like, I'll say sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? No, that's true. <clears throat> um, are, people, are some people snake in the industry? What do you mean? <laughs> are some people snake is in... Uh... <laughs> sorry, I'll ask that was you. very snake. <laughs> <laughs> um, are some people in the acting industry snaky? As in like they... They're looking out for themselves, so they might you might get a bad. I mean, there's gatekeepers in every in every walk of life, bro. Do you know mm. what I mean? Me, I've never been a gatekeeper. Like if I've got some information that can benefit other people, while it's also benefiting me, it's not gonna it's 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 gonna benefit me anyway. So why? You feel what I'm trying to say? I don't gatekeep. I'll 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 share the information. But some people, but like some it. people yeah. do not. You get what I'm trying to say? And uh, it's you're well within your rights not to, but. I just mean this is a creative space. This is a it's a it's a sharing environment. So why would you not? You get what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> but again, not everyone's the same. Like I've helped so many actors, <laughs> so many actors that you that you that everyone would know. You get what I'm trying to say? Oh, like right, right. that everyone would know. Any names? I'm, I don't name drop. I ain't <laughs> got to do that. I'm not gonna do that. But trust me, I've helped so many actors. <clears throat> And sometimes, you know, like when, like I said, like turning down jobs, I might turn down a job, but I know that that's perfect for another actor. So I'll be like, bro, listen, tell your agent to, if what I'm trying to say. But other people won't do that. I've never had a man say, yo, Ra Kelly, I think this is, per-. I've never had a man told me that. Right. But I, I'm the one to do that though, if what I'm trying to say. Again, I don't gatekeep. <clears throat> is, that, is that probably because of the way you grew up and how people are in South sometimes, or around, around your friends? Or? Nah, because there's other people that are from South and grew up where, how I've grown up. Mm. And... Move the, it's just who you are. And they gatekeep. Yeah, they're yeah. gatekeepers, man. <clears throat> That's not good, no. <laughs> it's what it is, though. Yeah. What's, what's the wildest thing you've ever seen in the industry? Or just on set or anything like that? <clears throat> I mean, I see a director scream in someone's face one time, one actor. And I was just like, bro, if that was me, I'd just go home. <laughs> I would just go home. <laughs> like, you know, like he got red in the face. And he had white hair, like he looked mad. He looks like Santa Claus. But imagine an angry Santa Claus, like he fam, he went mad at this actor. And I was just like, bruv, if that was me, ha, joked him. <laughs> and then another time, there was another actor. I was, I was in, I was working in the East Enders, we was doing a scene in the Vic. <clears throat> and then you know, like how you have the main actors and you've got the supporting actors that are standing around and doing this and other. The supporting actors was making bare noise on the set when we were trying when we were trying to do the thing. Is that and the then, background artist? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one of the actors, I won't say who, but one of the actors, because he was trying to get in his zone. Yeah. Like, and remember, he's you understand, he's a main actor. You know, one of the actors that was trying to get in his zone, but he turned around and he let them know who they was. He <laughs> let them. Know, I'm not gonna bruv, He let them know who they was. Quickly. Yeah. Quick. And I was just like. <laughs> is that what you're allowed to do? <laughs> that, I never knew that you could chat like that to people. You know, I'm going, rah, is that what you can do in there, yeah? You get me? And yeah, everyone shut the fuck up. I was going, Now, to be honest, yeah, to be honest, I, I used to do a lot of um, background work, innit? Like, okay. um, what's it called? Supporting artists. Supporting, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Years ago, years ago, just on random sets and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they told you straight away, don't don't talk to the actors. Don't don't go near them, don't talk to them, don't Well, see this is the thing, but I used to talk to them though. Mm. I I will talk to them because yeah. again, you're a normal person. You're coming to collect your check. You've got to stand here in this in this room just like me. You've yeah. got to do you understand? The only difference between me and you is I have to talk, you don't. Yeah. That is the difference. Mm. The difference between us is I have to speak, you do not have to speak. That's the only difference. Other than that, we're in the same flipping business, mate. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So I never ever used to make them feel like they was less than, than you get what I'm trying to say? I don't come, I don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. nuts. I would hate to be in that position where I'm there and I can see people and then I, I'm like, ah, I can't even, <laughs> I want to say, oh, go on, I can't even, you get me? I like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so, yeah, no, I always used to show them love, man. No, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what are your vices like? Like, what's, what, what do you, do you, do you have like an outlet? Do you go to gym? Do you smoke? Do you drink? 
I mean, mean, I dislocated my shoulder not too oh, long yeah. ago, so I ain't been in the gym for a long, long time. How did you do it? Because I'm scared. Um, I hyperextended. Do you know what hyperextension is? Um, so you know like when you yeah. over, get it? Oh. Yeah. Wow. I hyperextended my shoulder, the shit popped out, and then, um, and I was, that was mad pain. Was yeah, but this, okay. Uh, no, just at home. I dislocated oh, right, at right. home. I had to go to hospital. Um, so yeah, obviously after I did that, I've just been scared to go to gym because I'm like, bruv, imagine it's a mental thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, mental. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably be all right, but <laughs> I'm just thinking, bruv, imagine if I'm, ah, and it just, you know, <laughs> it's mental. I, it's a mental thing, I'll be real. It's a mental one. What but, else do you pop it back in? I didn't, but bruv, they had to put me to sleep. They had to oh, put me, right, what? Right, bruv, yeah. it was out, the so- it was out. Yeah. It was out, bro. My dish, it was out the socket. You understand? I wasn't coping. Yeah. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't coping, bro. Just me. That's crazy. <laughs> um, what kind of advice would you have for a young aspiring actor? Advice? Mm. Stick at it. Stick at it. Because there's going to be a lot of times that it's not easy. There's going to be a lot of times you doubt yourself. You're going to get told no. Like, people are going to... People are like your friends around. You're going to be like, oh, bro, why don't you just do that? Like, you're going to get discouraged. You're going to get... But stick at it. If you stick at it, I'm telling you. You'll get there. You'll cut through. If mm. you stick at it. If you mean it. You see me, I mean it. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm not playing with this. I don't play with the acting thing. Like, I mean it. Mm. Like, so if you mean it and you stick at it, how can you fail? And that's it with anything in life. Mm. You feel what I'm trying to say? Anything in life. If you mean it and you stick at it, then you'll cut through. No, nah, fair enough. Yeah, consistency. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sure it's hard because obviously you're not going to have, well, not every actor is going to have consistent roles, isn't it? No. Nah. So I'm sure it's hard. Of course sure not. times. Because I know, well, I know, I know when I was doing the background thing, I, I used to speak to people and, yeah, no, nah, I've got, I got a second job. I've got this, I've got that. Mm. Like, yeah. like I say, some, bro, some actors are blessed to jump from job to job to job to job yeah. to job. You feel me? And that was me in the early, in my, um, in the early part of my career. I was, I was, I was, I was collecting them up. You feel me? Yeah. And then it gets quiet. And then it picks back up again. And then it's quiet again. And then it picks back You know what I'm saying? So you yeah. see, because you know it's going to come, there's going to be a time that it's going to be quiet. So you see when it's quiet, what am I going to do? You have to know what you're going to do. All right, cool. So when it's quiet, I might just, you see that thing that I've been writing? I might just put that on. Or I might, you feel what I'm trying to say? I might go and do a bit of teaching. Or I might go and direct that movie for my, I might go and, you've got to do something though. Mm. You can't just sit there and be like, <sighs> waiting for your agent or waiting for the right. It's not, it's, that's, that's not, and the thing is, it's visibility as well. Yeah. As an actor, if you look like you're doing stuff, people want you to do more stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you ain't doing nothing, people are like, bro, I swear you was in that thing 12 years ago, like, <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? But if you, but, so you got to be, you know what I mean? You got, yeah, yeah you got to, no, it's just stay active. You just got to stay active. That's what I mean. You got to stick at it. Nah, fair enough. Um, what can we expect from you in the next couple of years? Like, what can we see? Just keep watching, man. <laughs> just keep watching, just keep watching. I don't really talk too much, well, I do. But <laughs> I don't really talk too much about it. Is there that. anything new you, you want to go into that's not, not kind of acting or... What about writing? Have you ever considered it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, that's actually something I'm venturing into now. I have a few projects in the pipeline. Um, again, but... So I just got to wait until I'm not busy. Yeah. Then I can focus more on it, you get what I'm trying to say, but they're there though, I've got some, I've got some things that I've written myself that are there, but it's just a timing, it's a timing thing. Okay, right, right, right. Um, what inspires you in life? You know what, my son inspires me, you know. Nice. My boy, my little boy inspires me. He makes me want to do, he makes me want to be someone, you know what I mean? He yeah. makes me want to do the thing, he makes me like, ah, oh, I can't explain it. But he inspires me. He inspires me to, to to get up and you understand. Yeah. And I never had that before. Obviously, before I used to just I did it because I wanted to do it. But now, nah, not because I need to. But I mean, because I want to. You feel yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like I want to. I want to do it for you. I want. I want. I want to do it for him. You feel what I'm trying to say? I can't explain it. But he inspires me. So it definitely changes you, haven't it? Yeah, haven't definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely. For the good as well. For the good. Yeah. My son has taught me patience. 
Right. I never had no patience before I had my son. My son has taught me patience. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's nice, man. That's nice to hear. Because obviously I ain't got kids, so I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's genuine. How old are you? 30. You're taking, you're taking your time, bro. I know, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm thinking at myself. You're chilling, bro. Like, next bro. couple of years, next couple yeah, of years. Bro, yeah, bro, literally, like, yeah. Nick, the next two. <laughs> yeah, no, real, real talk, Literally. Yeah. Next Do you know Because I have my son at 27. Okay, And right, the way right. I worked it out, yeah, yeah, I have my son at 27. By the time he's 10, I'm going to be 37. That's cool. We can still uh, go park. I see what you you're mean. 10 years old, we can still yeah. go park and, and pattern. You see, by the time I'm 47, you're yeah. 20. We can go to the, we can, go and, we can go and get a drink. You feel what I'm trying to say? I'm not oh, going to yeah, be too, you get me? But you see, if you wait, <laughs> and he wants to go pop, you're going to say big man. What you you're going you're gonna to say brother. I, I hear you, but yo. I'm tired. You feel what I'm trying to say? So I feel like, that's what I'm saying. Yo, you need to, before he gets too much for you, you feel me? Mate, and that's mate. the thing. I want to have, I want to have that relationship with her. I want to be, yeah. I want to be cool with my son. Yeah. You feel what I'm trying to say? I want us to, you feel me? I want to say, son, bro, what are we doing today? <laughs> Guy, we're driving me. Like, where are we going? You know what I mean? I want him to, you get me? Yeah, chill with me. Yeah, 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 man. That's what I was saying. Like, but if you get too old, then you can't do that. Because yeah. then it's different worlds. He don't even understand you. You don't understand him. He's listening to some mad music. You're going, bro. You understand? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, trust me. But yeah, my son inspires me, bro. Inspires the hell out of me. That's nice. That's nice. Do, do you think that um, a lot of people are waiting now to have kids? Do you know what it is, yeah? You see, before I was, you see, before I had my son, mm. there were situations where I could have had a child before and I, I just weren't ready. I thought I weren't ready, but you would never be ready. Mm. You would never, ever, 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 ever be ready. Bruv, you could be a billionaire. You think you're going to be ready to have a kid? It's, bruv, it's not an amount of money. It's not a circumstance. It's not a situation. It's not a house. It's not, it's nothing. There is no ready. There is no ready. You just do it or you don't do it. You get what yeah. I'm trying to say? But you see, when you do do it, you see the rewards of it, because it's the hardest job in the world. Yeah. There is nothing on this planet that is harder than being a parent. Do you know why? Because you have to keep someone alive. Mm. You're responsible for keeping someone alive. If they die, that's your fault. You understand what I'm trying to say? <laughs> yeah, bruv, yeah. if they die, that's your fault. Bruv, that's pressure, you know? That is, bruv, yeah. that's pressure. That's fucking pressure, bro. You feel what I'm trying to say? So you see, when you, and that is how you learn love. Now I have to, I know, so I love you. I love you so much. I have to keep you alive. I've got to give you fed water, this, that, and the other. I've got to put you through school. I've got to teach you. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, you can't, there's nothing better than doing that. And it's a little version of you. A little you. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? That's yeah. the illest, bro. It's the illest thing. Nah, fair enough, fair enough. Trust me. <clears throat> um, are you up to date on social media? Like, bro, I tap in and out, man. I don't really, like, See I don't really mean. care, bro. Like, mm. I don't really care. Mm. Like, social media's there. It's just there, isn't it? It's there. We all got it. Have you heard of this thing about the UK baddies and all that? UK badders? Like, I mean, I might have seen, I might have seen one, two things, but again, see me, I mind my business. I mind mine. That ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I rate everyone that's doing what they're doing. Like, mm. I, I respect all creative um, spaces, you get mm. what I'm trying to say? But well, that ain't got nothing to like reality, it's not my ends. Mm, fair enough. You get what I'm trying to say? Do, do you believe in any conspiracy theories? I just believe Jesus was black. <laughs> He's gotta be. He's gotta He's be. He's gotta be, man. What's, what's your thinking about that? Ah, man, he has to be. Think about the things what he did. Yeah, only black man can feed man with, with, with bread and two fish. You understand? That's a black man thing, bro. Yeah? Come on, bro. <laughs> Trust me. Jesus was black. <laughs> have, you, have you heard this thing about flat earth, round earth? I don't know about all of that. I don't know. <laughs> That's above my pay grade, bro. That's above my thing. I don't know about if the world's flat or round. I just know that there's bare roads and you go straight. And you see, when you go straight up the road, your accent changes, and I don't understand. How can you drive straight and now you sound weird? Mm. How can you drive straight up the road and now you sound weird? Now yeah, now you now you're from. You get me? But what happened? What happened on the way in the car? How can your voice just change in the car? I don't understand. <laughs> when you got north, you understand? Yeah, I don't yeah, get yeah. it, bro. I just drove and now you sound mad. <laughs> I don't get that. Who's your favorite actor? Um. My favourite black actor is Denzel Washington. My favourite white actor is Leonardo DiCaprio. Nice. 
And favourite um, director? It's a hard one. It's a hard one. <laughs> you got Scorsese, Scorsese? I mean, I ain't worked with Scorsese, so I don't know. Mm. I mean, I think one of my favourite directors is Rapman. I like how he directs. Is I like good? what? Yeah. Raps is dip. You know why? Because I watch this. You see, like when you watch, you see, like when you watch. Uh, have you ever do you have you do you listen to audio books? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you heard Fifty Cent's audio book? Uh, which one? Um, Hustle Hard, Hustle Hard, Hustle Smart. I think. No. Uh, uh, all right, cool. But anyway, yeah. Or even like even um, Raising Canaan, yeah. Mm. His show. You know, like how he does the voice over for it. Yeah. yeah so he's yeah. talking. So you know, like when someone's talking to me, I feel like Fifth's talking to me when he's when they, when I'm hearing the audio book. It's like he's chatting to me. You feel me? Yeah. So, <clears throat> like, wait, what was the question? Um, no, you're talking about rap, man. Why is yeah, that no, all right, yeah. yeah, all right, yeah, no. <clears throat> I thought because you see, raps, raps is like he's talking to and he's talking to me. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like he's yeah. not. It's not a director who's trying to be art. He's like, all right, Cali, boom. This is what I need. You feel what I'm trying to say? He's talking to me. He knows what he wants. Yeah, he, he knows, knows me yeah. and he knows exactly what he needs to say to me yeah, to get yeah. the job done. So my favourite director, Raps is one of them and James is one of them. Yeah. James and Raps. I like how they do their thing. <clears throat> Who's James, sir? James Samuel. You don't know who James Samuel is? You just said James. You're tripping. You just said James. But do you know who James Samuel yeah, is, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah. Yeah, don't sleep on James, please. <laughs> please. That is not someone to be played with, bro. I'll be real. <clears throat> I'm surprised rap man because it wasn't when you worked with him, wasn't he kind of new into it or not? Yeah, but again, remember that blue story, yeah. he wrote blue story in his room years ago, bro. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm trying to say? So remember, that's the story he knows. And the nature of blue story is something that I grew up with anyway. Yeah. That whole Peckham and, and ghetto beef. That was something that is that that's I had real, to. Yeah. Do you understand? So yeah. when he's talking to me and he's like, alright. He's talking to me, so I understand it. You got what I'm trying to say? I'm going, all right, all right. You feel what I'm trying to say? <laughs> but, yeah, James, James Samuel, definitely. Raps, definitely. Yeah. And, um, and Steve McQueen, you know. Do you know why? Because he just let me be, he just let me be me. He was like, Kelly, you're great. Just do what you want to do. And if you don't, if I don't like it, I'll tell you, but I probably will. You know what I'm trying to say? He just let me do my thing, so I was just like, yeah. 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 Creative freedom, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I like that. If you had to work with any actor, who would it be? Hmm, I don't know. You're not an actor. I hear that. Um, any actor, who would it be? I don't know, because I've worked with a lot of people, you know? Mm. I've worked with a lot of people. Leonardo DiCaprio, blood. I want to do something with Leo. Cool. If I ever get to do something with Leo, then I, in my head, I've made it. No one ever speak to me again. I hear that. Again. <laughs> Don't, eh, never again speak to me again because, yeah, look at my credits. You understand? <clears throat> I hear that, I hear that. Cool, I think that's a wrap, you know. So, we done? Yeah, yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, All right. Can you just tell us your socials again? Big up the people, them. Social, oh shit, my social. <laughs> can you, can me and the cup be who we are, please? <laughs> Socials, Cali Best, no, Cali underscore Best on Insta, and that's the same on Snapchat. The rest is a, is a myth. 